All right, welcome back to another uh, tutorial in Maya. Uh, this one's going to be a follow-through of a still life object that we're going to make. It's going to be a shield. So I just went on Google Images, found a shield, and just going to go with this. So uh, find yourself an image similar to this. If you type in shield in Google Images and like select the large op large image quality option, you should find this one. So. So anyway, this one this could be a long video, so I don't want to really waste time, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is uh, make sure you import your image. I just I just placed this on a, on a planar uh, image plane, polygon plane, and then just placed the image on it, and then scaled it out to about 1.5 for each. Okay, and then uh, as far as just, you know, centering it, you know, you can probably center it as best you can so I don't know somewhere like about there you can turn the grid off just go to show turn grid off because that is kind of annoying to look at so alright so once you have this all set uh, what I do is I just kind of start off with a cube and then just model off from there so and then just extend that out or bring this down a bit and then oops Extend that out, get your gizmo, just straighten that out, getting that a little bit f closer in, and then just a little taller. So, make sure it's covering the whole shield. Okay, so then after you're done, go to your settings here, polygon cube, subdivision width, let's go 5, and then for the depth, let's go 5 too. Alright, so once you have that set, we're just going to go into our verts. And then bring all this in so just kind of match the actual object that we're modeling from so and this is a this is a num good way to start practicing your modeling skills when it comes to st objects like this and then we're just going to match up the verts to the shape of the shield so they can match it cor so they, so the corresponding angles will match up and here's the tricky part. The bottom is usually where you're going to run into problems, so just kind of play your way in there. Um, you know, we still have this little indent right here. Don't worry about it. We can fix that. We just got to add more verts. And then just take this as well, bring those in to about right there. And then you're going to select the, the edges right here. And then you're going to bring these down a bit. And then we'll just, I guess, burn. Get those edges to line up. All right. Select these edges. Bring them down about there. And then don't worry about the middle. We'll get that. Okay. So you should basically have something like this right now. It's not complete. However, we have the the shape of the shield pretty well made. So um, that's a good start. So next thing we're going to do is go to edge mode. And then you're going to insert, go to your insert edge loop tool. And uh, for those of you who are just not familiar with the shortcuts, press shift, hold on, go to edge mode, select one of the edges, hold shift down, and then right click, hold, insert edge loop tool. I'm going to be doing this quite a bit, so get used to it. All right. Insert your uh, point right there. Um, a little off. We can probably make that a little better, a little bit more centered. It's a little better. Okay, so once we have that, then this is where we kind of bring this up a bit, get that point, and then bring these down. And there you go. So now you have yourself a good start. So as far as having the shield all um, set up, and then if you want, uh, let's see. Oh wow. So all right, go back to your perspective mode, and then just shrink this down. To a reasonable size, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, and then if you want, just play around with it. Just press three to for shield for uh, smooth, and you know you got a, a nice you know smoothing it. We're probably you know we we'll probably leave that to last, but technically you kind of do want to have the the shape pretty much all set and f all set and done to exactly what it, it looks like. If, um, because you, even when you smooth it, like look how much it takes away so obviously to fix that we're going to have to add in a lot more edge loops to sort of get that uh, measure okay so what I do next is go down here I'm going to select this edge and then um, 
let's see, hold on. Before I do that, select the edge by double clicking, and then we're going to bevel it. Let's see, that didn't work. Hold on. Bevel edge. Whoa, it's way up there, so we're going to probably go down to 0.1. Bevel that edge. There we go. Let's see. Um, if you want to get the offset a little bit higher, there you go. We can have something like this, so maybe 0.3 instead. And then it just adds in an extra edge loop where you need it. And then what we can do is take this row and then just sort of tweak that out a little bit more in right there. Same goes for this one as well. So we could just go in, tweak that. Same thing for this row. Go in, make a little, make some adjustments. We're probably going to have to add an edge loop here. So probably take this. Oops. Ah. Okay, go to edge mode, select, bevel edge, hmm. bevel edge, make this not 0.1, but 0.5, that looks better. Okay, so what it does is just creates another edge loop so you don't have to keep doing it. So probably just bring this up a bit more, straighten that out, fix this area. There we go. Same goes for this one, so I think we'll just go and uh, select this row, bevel edge. I'm going to probably make this 0.3. Make sure your segments are at 1, so bevel. Okay, and there we go. So now let's select this edge, bring it up, and then just kind of tweak it up. Select that edge, bring it up a bit more tweak it about there so see now we're starting to get a little bit more edge loops and then same for this one I think we're going to create one more select that edge bevel there you go and uh, select that edge bring it up just a tiny bit and then we'll just bring those in just kind of get define that shape of that shield so pretty good. All right, so now we went from having, you know, something like, you know, with maybe five edge loops in there, now we have something a little bit more defiant. So this is a lot better than we had initially. So, but yeah, that's pretty much exactly what you want. And then uh, we have to fix this bottom here. So yeah, click this edge and then uh, bevel. So now we have a little bit more, def you know, a little more of a chance of tweaking out a bit. So just kind of select that edge. Oops. Select that edge. Bring this out a, just a tiny bit. And then what we're going to do is do another bevel edge. Except for this one, we're going to bring this one down a little bit farther so we can get that bottom. All right. And then for the bottom here, let's just bring this in a little bit more. And then I guess we can probably bring this down a bit just kind of match that and then for the rest of this we can go select this edge insert edge loop tool so probably something like that insert an edge loop and then bring that and then what we're gonna what I'm noticing is that the, the verts start to really get a little bit cr um, uneven so what we can do is select all these verts and then we're gonna go to a uh, mesh and then average the verts so something like that, it's a lot better. So, but I think what I could probably do is show smoothing amounts. Let's probably beat that down to two. Uh, it's a little bit better. So, um, probably just bring this out a bit more. Bring this out down there and then bring this a little bit farther in so but now they don't look as you know disproportional so okay um, as far as anything else still have to kind of bring those in a little more so your image is going to be a little off so don't worry about it if it doesn't f fit on precisely so there you go Could fix that so, right there so okay so once you have 
that all settled, you pretty much have a basic formatted shield to play with. So now, probably to, I guess, look at the shield a little bit more. So just bring this um, to the side. You notice that there's a bit, there's like a really nice beveled edge that outlines the shield. So what we can do to create that, which is pretty easy, is we can go into our perspective mode and then we're going to insert an edge loop um, on the side. So preferably about the middle area. And then we're going to bring this one a little, we're just going to kind of tweak it out a bit and then bring, you know, bring the edges out a little more just to create that three-dimensional look to it. So now when you look at it, it kind of has more of a flow to it. So pretty cool. All right. So once you've done that, um, you're going to select this edge right here, select this edge. You're going to select the, the pretty much the inner, the inner area of the shield right here. And that, and then this is where we're going to do another bevel of uh, the shield. And there we go. The reason why we did this is because now it has created, and you know, let me kind of just zoom in here, it's created this extra layer of the shield, giving it more depth, basically giving it that, that shape that we're looking for right here. So now you've created something like that. So and if we want, we could actually put the offset something about, I don't know, 0.4. Hold on. Select so that. So let's get the offset to about maybe 0.4 to go a little bit more. In fact, maybe 0.5 just to give it more space in between. So I think that's pretty good. And that, to me, I think that works. So, um, and you can kind of tell, like, just, I mean, sm when you smooth it, though, it kind of ruins it. But, you know, I think when you have it at that stage where you have that offset, because you're, you're kind of redefining the actual shield because now you're giving it more, you know, you're giving it more space and you're giving it more depth to look at. So now we've created that outer, that we created that inner layer. So if we wanted to add in some more detail, you know, that, that could work. So, and you can, you, you know, the, the higher the offset, the more, the larger the space is going to be. So I think 0.6 is probably as far as I'm going to go with this because I think that, looking at it right now it looks pretty good so now just kind of you know just you know just looking at it right now and seeing for what it is I think I'm pretty pleased with it with that so the image is a little you know it's a little off I mean we can kind of center frame it but that's pretty much exactly what you're you know you're aiming to go for with the shield. So now you have basically a basic re representation, a good um, reference to look at when you're modeling something out because when you're modeling from a photo, it actually it makes the process of modeling something a lot a lot easier. So and now I guess for the rest of this, you would go in and sort of tweak out these verts right here because we see that some of these verts have gone off a little bit off their um, off their score, off their angle here, off this off of the edges. So you have to go in and probably average these out. But as far as anything else is concerned, I mean, even this, like we can still probably, you know, straighten these out a bit. Go in here. Same with this. So if you want, you could go and just do an average vert, average those out. You know, it's, doesn't matter. So. And if you notice that if you go to your input section, you can actually tweak these. Uh, you can the top layer is exactly the one you want. So in fact, what we'll do is we'll do one iteration. So, um, but that's pretty much how you want to do it. So, in fact, see the problem with doing it on top is that it doesn't get the bottom part. So, but I think you get the drift. So. Go ahead and um, see about trying to average those verts out. You can see here now that it does get a little messy. So, like if you notice this area, it's gotten a little it's gotten a little bad. So, probably what you have to do is if you want to avoid any problems, you have to kind of just straighten these out a bit. 
So, but go ahead and do that and have fun with it. So, well, that's pretty much it for the modeling of the shield. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. So, take care.